Man, I, I need to talk about this. How do you guys feel about Tower of God Season 2? Because we were preparing for Tower of God Season 2 in this channel every day leading up to, you know, the beginning of summer 2024. And Season 1 was fantastic. What a ride. The immersion, the depth of the world building. Truly, I could say that it is like the One Piece of Webtoons. And it was fantastic. And I was so excited to get into Season 2. And as we started it in the beginning, it was pretty decent, right? There was some hype shit going on. You got to see Viol fight with his new powers. You get to see the whole Viol, like, you know, power fantasy through the punch machine. But then I started to notice that, like, the animation complaint, I thought it was overblown in the beginning. And maybe I was convinced that it was fine because of how relatively the hype the material was seeing Viol come back and do all that shit. But the most recent episodes, even the Urek Majinu episode, I just... There's something missing. It feels like something is empty. And I have some comments that I want to read on a random <laughs> forum. It's on Annualist. And basically, it's the episode 8 discussion. Super weak animation and directing. I think that the animation is subpar, but not horrible, right? I think it's the directing of it, though. Somehow, like, of course, the animation is lack lackluster. Like, straight up. Here, let me show you that one scene. Let me show you that one scene where I was like, what the fuck is going on? Here. Look at this shit. Wait for it. Wait for it. Sorry. Let me just resize this. Come on. There is the fight where Bomb is literally like spinning around. Where Where is this shit? There, there's a scene where... There's like multiple attacks coming from... I think that guy. Yeah, this section, right? This section... Again, like the animation doesn't look bad per se. But... The fluidity of it, it's, it's all over the place. And there is just something missing, man. I know some people might say, if you don't like it, don't watch. And true, right? If you don't like it, don't watch. But I want to see where the general story goes. Me too, man. It's just, it's just one of those phases, again. Just like Irregular Magic High School, where like season one was so fucking good, man. And then like the future seasons, it started to get bad and bad. And it was a mix of changing the studios and the material they were adapting. And for sure, the current arc right now, it's kind of limited. Because season one, of course, on top of the animation boost and just the love that the show got, we were also introduced to the main roster of characters like Shibisu, Anak, Hat, Endorsi, right? Blue Turtle, Rack, every one of them, right? They were all friends and it was, it was so good, but now you don't get to see any of them much. You get introduced to a new cast that you barely care about. The animation is lackluster and it's just like, how do you make people give a fuck when you have this many characters to go into? I feel like maybe if you're reading a webtoon style, the pacing is different, but in an animation way, I think that the direction right now is pretty poor. It's just the episode to episode story, animation editing effects, battles are quite weak. I absolutely agree with this guy. It's actually heartbreaking. <laughs> Honestly, that was insultingly bad, Jesus. I'm an anime only, so I don't really know if this is an issue with the adaptation or with the series as a whole. I feel like, again, the material they're adapting is probably a bit weaker because you're trying to introduce a new roster of characters. You don't give a fuck about them. How could you care about them compared to the season one characters? And on top of that, the poor direction and the animation, I think, is just combining into a perfect storm. But this season feels nothing like the first season. I really can't explain. But the first season was more mysterious and magical to some extent. Absolutely. And for sure, there is some... Maybe some nostalgia at play. Of course, when you get introduced to Tower of God for the first time with the love that was poured into, you know, season one, it's going to seem that way. But I don't think that they're capping either, right? Right now in season two, I do not feel this mystery and magical intent. Like, yeah, like different shit's getting revealed, like with the Fug, like Karaka. Urek Majino showing up. He has his own different floor. Even in like the first couple episodes, I forget the exact which one episode it was. More like there was like a Masheni and Repolista, the different Zahad princesses. These are world building aspects. Yet, I, it just didn't feel special. Am I crazy? I don't know. Something about it just didn't make me immersed. Now it feels like most characters are bland, both in visuals and personality. Agreed. Bomb's new group isn't even close to being interesting as his original group. Absolutely. But I guess it kind of makes some sense considering his OG group was really above average. True, but like, even if that makes sense lore-wise, like for us, the audience, it's just like, fuck, man. 
I won't drop it, but considering the overall reviews of most people, I guess we won't be getting a third season. Is it worth to pick up reading the web series? Probably. Ah, man. And some people are going to say, just let it cook, bro. Let it cook. After the workshop arc, it's going to get so much better. Season 3, Tower got on top. But here's the thing. With most anime people, one bad season is enough to deter people away from watching future seasons, if, even if it's good. For example, Irrigor at Magic High School, right? Season 2, Season 3, fucking disaster. For example, uh, what's that show? Oh, it aired recently. Sorry, it's slipping my mind right now. It was... Oh, Rising of the Shield Hero. Season 3, I hear it was um, amazing. I hear Season 3 is amazing, but like... Season 2, like, even the author says, I'm sorry for the Spirit Tortoise arc. Like, it was so fucking weak. It's just... No one's gonna get there, man. You're gonna lose all the hype. Let's see some other comments. It's good that people can still enjoy the show by looking at the tweak points, but to say this has better animation, absolutely not. It does not have better animation. Episode direction? I don't think so. Now, I don't know what they're adapting, so as an anime only, I can't really tell if that the direction is good, but I can also tell by just experiencing as an anime only that what I'm seeing on the screen does not compel me or immerse me into the story in the world of Tower of God like season one did, so I feel like that's something at least. Come on, even blind AI can spot the difference. As a TOG Webtoon fan, I agree with you. It's a bit disappointing. I hope this anime will not be abandoned after this season. The AI chatbot hits different watching it today. It did. I did enjoy the Emily stuff. The whole workshop and the reveal of Emily a chatbot and like the horrors of how it's an actual fucking human tied up to it. That's very interesting. However, even if it's interesting, I just feel like with the current adaptation of what we've seen so far it might just be lackluster and we're on cope man also the goddamn animation is so static it hurts exactly right i'm telling you man this scene this whole scene here bomb versus fucking quater or something like this it was <sighs> i'm watching powerpoint presentation bro it's it's so awkward like you trying to give me hype scenes, hype fights? Like, I can't get hype with it if the animation is so fucking subpar, man. A few weeks ago, before the season aired, I reread the manhwa and catched up to it. And although I've always thought that all the Sweet and Sour Team part throughout part two of the manhwa is probably its weakest point. Okay, so it actually is the weakest point. Yiwa and Wang Nam being the only good characters of the bunch. Arguably, AK Raptor. Really? I enjoy AK way more than Iwa, but I guess in the webtoon, she's a lot less useless and less bitchy compared to what the anime is showing. The adaptation makes it even worse. So right now, obviously, the material that we have to work with is weak and the adaptation is bad. So it's a double whammy we're getting fucked on. Animation and pace aside, which are terrible, the season direction is one of the worst I've seen in a long time. You don't need stellar budgets to make a decent show if direction's on point. Gimai Seikatsu, I think this is days with my stepsister, from this anime season is quite a good example of that. <laughs> so what, you want these dudes to just eat fucking sweet and sour pork for 40 seconds thing? nothing? <laughs> I'm really considering dropping this, which really saddens me as I really love the manhwa. Power of God might not be the best manhwa manga out there, but it has such massive potential and deserves so much better than this. And you know what? I think this just wraps it up correctly. I'm not gonna drop Tower of God. I'm enjoying the story, but... The complaints and the frustrations, these are coming from a place of passion for the original series. That season one marathon, bro, that was magical. Having the cut content, getting more lore, you know? Dr. Bone Druid, his, his like channel, Tower God videos, it made me so hyped for season two. And this is what we get, man. Slap in the fucking face and what's the fucking studio doing this? The Answer Studio, man. The Answer Studio. This is your... <laughs> this is the studio, guys. I don't know what they've made in the past. It looks like a bunch of random shit. I have no clue what any of these fucking animes are. But, like, you can tell these guys. Send them a letter. Thank you for such an amazing adaptation of Tower of God Season 2. Jesus fucking Christ. What a fall off.